to our hydrogen fueling station and as we go we can see uh, one of the very first bus prototypes uh, that was a fuel cell bus. And it's kind of interesting to look back on this technology, which is 10 or 15 years old, and to think that the fuel cell that supplied the electricity for the bus took up almost the whole back half of the bus, that storage. Nowadays, a fuel cell bus looks just like a regular passenger bus. What we're looking at here, that's actually a hydrogen storage tower. We call that the Tower of Power. This is one of our hydrogen fueling stations, and it's one of the first. We're actually building a small network of hydrogen fueling stations to learn how to produce hydrogen in a distributed basis. So distributed means producing hydrogen as close to where you're using as possible. On an industrial basis, hydrogen is manufactured and trucked around all over the world, piped and used in oil refining as well as in things like hydrogenated peanut butter. What we don't know so much about is the costs of delivering hydrogen to users in a distributed small scale basis. These building integrated photovoltaic panels collect the sun's energy, convert it directly into electricity. While we could make hydrogen from fossil fuels and reform it, the approach we're taking is to make hydrogen in a GHG or greenhouse gas neutral way. Behind us is the actual machines that make the hydrogen. The machines that use electrolysis, which is basically running an electrical current through water to produce hydrogen, splitting the H2O into H's and O's. And then that hydrogen is compressed and piped into the storage tower. We're also getting our hydrogen from a local waste source of hydrogen, where we have, by luck, a industrial facility producing waste hydrogen and venting it to the atmosphere as part of a process to make um, chlorine pulp chemicals. Uh, we're capturing some of that hydrogen. And it's actually enough hydrogen in this one facility located in, in the city to produce enough fuel to power about 20,000 fuel cell vehicles running an average amount per year. So there's all sorts of sources of hydrogen that we've yet to tap into because we haven't had a market for uh, hydrogen on a transportation basis.